Rachel from Sweet and Simple Home and today I thought I would give you a tour of my bookshelf. I recently restyled it, lightened it up a little bit and thought it'd be fun to show you what I put in it. <laughs> it's always fun for me to see how other people decorate and style their shelves so I thought I would share with you how I styled mine for the spring and summer. I have this wonderful bookshelf from Ikea that my mother-in-law actually gifted to me for my birthday this last year, but it's still actually for sale at Ikea. I can't pronounce the name of it, but I will link below <laughs> the link to Ikea so that you can go look it up if you're interested. It's really cool because it has two drawers on the bottom that we use to hold our homeschool and learning supplies. So with that, let me flip the camera around and give you a tour of my bookshelf. Sitting on the very top, I have this sort of whitewashed looking basket tray from Target. I picked this up uh, several years ago on clearance and I love the look of it. And it's nice because it's so big, it's great to have a place to store it there at the top. Then here below, on this first shelf, I have tucked away our Play-Doh and this cute little uh, bin here and labeled it Play-Doh. On top is my cute little fox that I picked up at Target about three years ago on clearance, of course. Then I have my beloved Harry Potter series. And then a bunch of our uh, academic books, mine and my husband's academic books. And one of my favorite pieces of milk glass here at the bottom. When I restyled this, bookshelf for spring, I wanted it to look lighter and I intentionally removed a bunch of stuff and purged a few things just to give this more breathing room. Down here I stacked three uh, vintage books, one on top of each other, and turned the spines toward the back to give it a lighter look and added this really cute uh, large scale apple that I picked up at a yard sale last summer for a dollar. I got this really cute bookworm from West Elm. I love him. Then I have this really sweet little frame. My sister framed our state and the city that my husband and I met in and gave it to us for Christmas this year. So I have that there. Over here, this is where I keep my kids um, like pencils, crayons, and markers that we use throughout the day. And I put them in these Target bins from the dollar spot and they look really cute right there. Behind that is a vintage Pepsi crate. Let me kind of come around this way. Oh no, sorry, 7-Up. That was in my grandfather's garage. When he passed away, my dad uh, took it and then I got it because I asked nicely for it. <laughs> but in the back, I have this really cute little butterfly tray. I was using it as a tea, uh, tea bag holder but I found I wasn't using it very much and I absolutely love the way it looks so I stuck it on this shelf and just really love it. Next to that is a vintage postal scale I picked up at a yard sale last year for 50 cents. Then in this little pocket we have um, this cute amp. <laughs> this is my husband's amp for his guitar but I absolutely love displaying it because it's the cutest thing ever. And then below are two little photo albums that my grandmother carried around in her purse that are full of pictures of the grandkids. So me and my siblings and my cousins. And I just kept them because they remind me of her. and They're really sweet there on that shelf. And a cute bird candle that my friend Whitney gave me. And you can kind of see behind the crayons and stuff, I have a little book leaning against the side. That's a journal of my husband's. And then that little tin is holding a few supplies. Okay, down here I have two magazine holders from Ikea that I actually use to uh, put our homeschool stuff in. Then we have some more of our books, our Chronicles of Narnia set. Some of them are missing because we're actually reading them right now. And then just more books. I've turned some on their side so you just see that lighter um, effect. Then I have my grandmother's... Uh, this is her jewelry box and inside are trinkets and letters from her that I received as a child. She's no longer with us so I absolutely love having this on display. Then on top I have this really cute brass pair I picked up at a antique mall when I was shopping with my mom for my birthday a couple years ago and I love it. It could house some things inside, right now I don't have anything in it. Then I have my vintage globe I picked up at a yard sale for 
two or three dollars a couple years ago. That was such a steal. I absolutely love it and we use it also in homeschool. All right, down here on the bottom, I have my husband's collection of Calvin and Hobbes books. I have um, some more of his history books, my grandparents' hymnal from their church, and then a few more of our books. Um, this really cute little house bookshelf, I just, I think it's an actual trinket shelf is what you would call it, but I just love it. I spray painted it red and it's just a really cute little piece now. And then this bin right here houses all of our craft supplies. You'll notice at the bottom of this shelf, there are two drawers and in there we house our learning supplies, some games and whatnot. If you're interested in seeing what's in there, I'd be glad to make another video. Let me know in the comments below if you're interested. So I'll pull this up so you can see all of it. I feel like I'm really loving this. It feels so light. I love all the white and space that's in between everything and um, it still houses everything we need it to house, all our homeschool stuff, and also looks really pretty and decorative. So I'm really happy with how it turned out. I hope you enjoyed. I'll be back with another video soon. Bye guys.